The Federal Reserve is at a crossroads, facing one of the most critical decisions in recent history. The economy is sending mixed signals making it difficult to chart a clear path forward. On one hand, inflation is cooling, which is a positive sign. However, the threat of a recession looms large, casting a shadow over any optimistic outlook. The big question on everyone's mind is whether the Federal Reserve will decide to cut interest rates in response to these mixed signals. This decision has huge implications for a wide range of stakeholders including investors, businesses, and everyday Americans who are all anxiously awaiting the outcome. The Fed's upcoming decision on interest rates has Wall Street on edge, with traders and financial experts closely monitoring every development. A rate cut could signal a weakening economy, which might lead to further economic instability. On the flip side, a rate cut could also fuel stock market growth, providing a much-needed boost to investor confidence. But cutting rates too soon could backfire, potentially leading to unintended consequences. One of the biggest risks is that it could lead to a resurgence of inflation, undoing the progress made so far. The pressure is on Fed Chair Jerome Powell to strike a delicate balance between these competing concerns. Powell needs to support economic growth, ensuring that businesses can thrive and people can find jobs. At the same time, he must keep inflation in check to maintain the purchasing power of the dollar and protect consumers. The stakes are incredibly high, and the wrong move could have serious long-lasting consequences for the entire economy. History has shown us that the Federal Reserve's decisions can either stabilize the economy or exacerbate existing problems. Experts are divided, with some advocating for a rate cut to stimulate growth, while others warn of the dangers of acting too hastily. For small business owners and families, the outcome of this decision will directly impact their financial well-being. As the Federal Reserve deliberates, the nation watches and waits, hoping for a decision that will steer the economy towards stability and growth. In these uncertain times, the Federal Reserve's role is more crucial than ever, and its decisions will shape the economic landscape for years to come. The question remains, to cut or not to cut? The answer will define the future of the American economy. Some economists argue for a cautious approach. They favor a quarter point or 25 basis point rate cut. This would lower borrowing costs for businesses and consumers. It would signal that the Fed is paying attention to economic headwinds. The argument for a smaller cut is simple. The economy is still growing, albeit slowly. Inflation has cooled from its peak but remains above the Fed's 2% target. A quarter point cut would provide support without going overboard. Proponents of this approach point to the resilience of the labor market. Unemployment remains low. Job growth continues, though at a slower pace. Others believe the Fed needs to act more aggressively. They advocate for a half point or 50 basis point rate cut to avert a potential recession. This camp points to the growing risks to the economic outlook. One concern is the ongoing trade war between the United States and China. The tariffs imposed by both countries have hurt businesses and dampened global growth. This uncertainty weighs on investment and hiring decisions. Another worry is the slowdown in manufacturing activity. The Global Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, or PMI, has contracted for several months. This suggests weakness in a key sector of the economy. The Fed's decision is complicated by conflicting economic indicators. Some data points suggest the economy is on solid footing, others paint a more troubling picture. This makes it difficult to gauge the true health of the economy. On the positive side, consumer spending remains strong. Retail sales have been robust and consumer confidence remains high. This suggests that consumers are not yet pulling back on spending despite economic uncertainty. However, business investment has weakened. Companies are hesitant to invest in new projects amid trade tensions and slowing global growth. This pullback in investment could dampen economic activity in the coming months. Section 5. Growth Amidst Uncertainty, Deciphering the Economic Tea Leaves The U.S. economy has been on a growth trajectory for over a decade. This period of expansion has been marked by significant advancements in technology, increased consumer spending, and a robust labor market. Businesses have thrived, and the stock market has seen unprecedented highs. However, the pace of growth has slowed in recent quarters. 
Analysts have noted that while the economy is still growing, the rate at which it is doing so has decelerated. This slowdown has raised concerns among investors and policymakers alike. The International Monetary Fund projects global growth of 3% in 2023, down from 3.4% in 2022. This decline is indicative of broader global economic challenges that are impacting not just the US but economies worldwide. The slowdown in growth is partly due to factors outside the United States. Global supply chains have been disrupted and international trade has faced numerous obstacles. These external factors have created a ripple effect, influencing domestic economic conditions. The trade war, Brexit and other international events have added layers of complexity to the economic landscape. Trade negotiations have become more contentious, and the uncertainty surrounding these issues has made it difficult for businesses to plan for the future. Geopolitical tensions have also played a significant role. Conflicts in various parts of the world have led to instability, which in turn affects global markets. Diplomatic efforts are ongoing, but the outcomes remain uncertain, adding to the overall economic unpredictability. This uncertainty has weighed on business investment and trade. Companies are hesitant to make large investments or expand operations in such an unpredictable environment. This cautious approach has contributed to the slower growth rates observed in recent quarters. Despite these headwinds, the U.S. economy has remained relatively resilient. Consumer confidence remains high, and spending continues to be a driving force. The American spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship has helped to buffer some of the negative impacts. The labor market is strong, with unemployment rates at historic lows. Job creation has been robust, providing individuals with more opportunities and contributing to overall economic stability. Consumer spending continues to drive growth. People are dining out, shopping, and investing in new experiences. This consumer activity is a critical component of the economy, fueling demand for goods and services. However, the question is whether this momentum can be sustained. As we look to the future, the key will be navigating these uncertainties and finding ways to foster continued growth amidst the challenges. Policymakers, businesses, and consumers alike will need to adapt and innovate to ensure that the economy remains on a positive trajectory. Section 6 Inflation Conundrum The PCE Index and Consumer Spending. In this section, we delve into the intricate relationship between inflation, consumer spending, and the Federal Reserve's monetary policy. Inflation, a key factor in the Fed's decision making, has been surprisingly tame. Despite various economic pressures, inflation has not surged as some had anticipated. The Fed's preferred measure of inflation, the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index or PCE Index, has remained below the central bank's 2% target. This index is crucial because it reflects the changes in the prices of goods and services purchased by U.S. households, providing a comprehensive view of inflationary trends. The PCE index tracks changes in the prices of goods and services purchased by U.S. households. This includes everything from groceries and household items to healthcare and education expenses, making it a vital indicator of the cost of living. It is a broader measure of inflation than the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, because it includes a wider range of goods and services. While the CPI focuses on a fixed basket of goods, the PCE index adjusts for changes in consumer behavior offering a more dynamic and accurate reflection of inflation. The muted inflation readings give the Fed more leeway to cut interest rates. Lower interest rates can make borrowing cheaper, encouraging both businesses and consumers to spend more, which can stimulate economic activity. Lower rates could stimulate economic activity without necessarily fueling inflation. This delicate balance is crucial for maintaining economic stability and fostering growth. However, some economists worry that the Fed's focus on core inflation, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, may be misleading. These economists argue that by excluding these essential items, the core inflation measure might not fully capture the real cost pressures faced by consumers. Food and energy prices can be highly volatile, but they are also significant components of household expenses. Ignoring these can paint an incomplete picture of inflation, potentially leading to policy decisions that do not address the actual economic challenges faced by everyday consumers. As the Fed navigates these complexities, it must balance the need to support economic growth with the imperative to keep inflation in check. 
This ongoing challenge underscores the importance of accurate and comprehensive inflation measures like the PCE index. Ultimately, understanding the PCE index and its implications for consumer spending and monetary policy is essential for grasping the broader economic landscape. It helps policymakers, businesses, and consumers make informed decisions in an ever-changing economic environment. Section 7. The Allure of Lower Rates – A Boon for Borrowers and the Stock Market Lower interest rates could provide a much-needed boost to the economy. This would make it cheaper for businesses to invest and hire. It would also make it more affordable for consumers to buy homes and cars. Lower rates could also fuel stock market growth. When interest rates fall, investors tend to shift money out of bonds, which become less attractive, and into stocks, which are seen as offering higher potential returns. The stock market is forward-looking, meaning it often anticipates future economic conditions. A rate cut by the Fed could signal that the central bank is committed to supporting growth, boosting investor confidence. Section 8. The Price of Easy Money Savers Feel the pinch of low yields. While lower interest rates benefit borrowers and investors, they can hurt savers. Lower rates mean lower returns on savings accounts, certificates of deposit, and other interest-bearing investments. This can be particularly challenging for retirees and others who rely on fixed income from their savings. Low interest rates can erode the purchasing power of their savings over time, making it harder to maintain their standard of living. The Fed faces a delicate balancing act. It must weigh the needs of borrowers and the broader economy against the impact of low rates on savings.